Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can correctly use your voice in Refusion AI. In order to do so, here we are at Refusion.com, and what we're looking for can be found up here at the top. If you see in the Generate section, you can find this icon here. If we click on that, then that's going to open up our file explorer and we can find the file that we're looking for another thing you can do is if you just click on the box there it'll open up and then you can see this upload option here at the bottom left hand corner so we can go ahead and click on that and then we'll go ahead and get our test here so one thing about uh, using your own voice is that this is something that you cannot record your voice directly into Refusion. So you're actually gonna have to do this separately. So you can use a DAW of your choice, Audacity, Ableton, whatever it is that you find handy that you wanna use, and you're gonna have to record that and then bring that into Refusion. So let's just go ahead and give a quick listen to our file here. This is as good as it gets. This is as good as it gets. Okay, so that gives you an idea there of the audio file that we've brought in. We've just brought in our vocals. So the next thing is you're going to want to make sure that you have your lyrics in. And the nice thing about Refusion is that it is going to automatically transcribe whatever it is that you bring in. But you are going to want to uh, make sure that the lyrics are accurate because it might make mistakes. And the more accurate it is, the better the results are that you're going to get. Um, so another thing here, I'm pretty sure there is no O in there, but let's see, let's listen real quick. Check your expectations, try not to stress so this. Oh, okay. So I guess there is. And let's, uh, it might be better if, uh, for us to do something like that. Um, just because it is quite finicky, I find. Just gonna take a look here at our three bars okay just how different the cover is from the original higher values mean more variation we can play around with this but um, what is important to point out as well is over here where it says remix we want to make sure that we have this set to cover um, now you can use some of these other ones but at least for using your own audio and then doing something with it you're going to want to make sure that's set to cover and then from here, this is where we're going to select our sound and we want to say what kind of a style is it that we're looking for here. So we could say uh, jazz um, and maybe want to add, let's see, we'll do sax, bass, drums. And <clears throat> now that we have all that, we can go down here. We're going to add a title. And I think that should be good. Okay. So we'll go ahead and hit generate so that you can see the results for yourself. And you can see here that Refusion is now hard at work. And it shouldn't take too long. It's pretty quick. It's usually under about 30 seconds or so. Um, but one thing I will tell you before this finishes, okay, that's already done. Um, sometimes the results here are not that great. So like I could tell just by looking here, you could see that this is only 16 seconds long. So that's not really going to give us a full song, right? Um, now we did only do something that was quite short. So that's something to take into consideration. If you have a full song, you're going to want to make sure that you sing that it's in, in its entirety to make sure that uh, you're getting the link that you're looking for. But let's go ahead and see what the results are like. Okay. This is as good as it gets. This is as good as it gets. Check your expectations. Try not to stress. Oh, oh, oh. This is as good as it gets. 
So that is kind of gives you an idea there of what happens when you try to use your own voice in Refusion. Sometimes you get some weird results. So um, as far as playing around with this goes and like trying to find something that works, let's go ahead and try this out here. I'm going to try something a little bit different and we're going to do, let's try something here. Uh, okay. Is that not going to let us do anything more than that? Okay. So it's kind of limiting us to uh, one prompt here. I'm not sure exactly why that. Nope. Okay. Sorry about that. So this one is not too bad, but you're going to have to, again, like in order to get the results that you're looking for, you are going to have to um, make sure that your the entirety of your lyrics are in there. And another thing that I might suggest is you might get better results if you put at least one or two tracks along with your vocals. So if you're using whatever DAW you might be using, but uh, an easy example I could think of is like if you're using something like GarageBand, it might not be a bad idea to add your own drums your own beats, and then maybe even throw in a simple synth or something like that. Just something that kind of anchors the sound. So that way Refusion has more to work with. Because when you just put in your vocals and you don't have anything else other than that, it tends to get confused is what I find. And again, you're you're also just with the, the length of what I put in, you're only going to get something that's about as the length of what it is that you record. So we recorded something relatively simple. And I would have hoped that Refusion might do something a little bit longer than that, but it basically is giving us more or less the same length as what we put in there. Let's just take a look here. Let's see if there's anything else that we can change here. Might just be a matter of generating something different. Um, Let's go ahead and try that. We'll just go ahead and generate something else. Let's see if we get the same length or if we can get something longer than that. So last time this finished at about 30% or so. So we'll just see if we get the same thing here. Oh, and there it goes. All right. So let's go ahead and give that a listen. Yeah, you can see already that it's only given us about 15 seconds here. Let's go ahead and give it a listen. This is as good as it gets. This is as good as it So yeah, more or less the same thing. We'll try this one. This is as good as it gets. This is as good as it gets. Okay, so that's kind of what you can expect with Refusion as far as adding your own vocals go. So a couple things, uh, again, you're going to want to make sure that you add the entirety of your song. So if you're singing something, you're going to want to make sure that you sing the entire thing. Also, the results do tend to change your voice a fair amount. That sounds quite a bit different than the audio that I uploaded. Um, I would say that generally speaking, if you're going to want to upload your own audio, my my honest opinion is that you're going to get better results with Suno. Um, but uh, the nice thing about Refusion is that it's free. Um, the other thing that you can try doing is if you have a track that you've already done, then you can bring that into Refusion to play around with it and get to use the cover option to to switch it around a bit. But you're not going to get vocals that are identical or close enough to what it is that you put in. So that's kind of the long and short of it when it comes to Refusion and adding your vocals. Um, in order to get the best results, you're going to want to make sure that you you add a file that has the entirety of the song in it. Um, if you do what I've done here and only have a few seconds or 15 seconds of it, that's about as much as you're going to get with it. The other thing is you're going to want to make sure that the lyrics are entirely written in there. So if you have lyrics for your song, make sure that they are written in there and that they are as accurate as possible. And that is going to be how you're going to get the best results with 
adding your own voice to Refusion. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. And don't forget to set your notifications for more helpful tips. Also, if you take a look in the description, you will find a link to our link tree. There you'll find links to our X page and information on our upcoming intro to AI webinars, as well as our top AI tool recommendations and Roamless eSIM. Click on any of those links to get started. You'd be helping us out as well, and we would greatly appreciate it.